Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to talk about the difference between struct type and map type. In my previous video, I explained about struct type and struct field. Basically, these methods are used to define the schema of a data frame in Databricks development. The schema definition is one of the important concepts in Databricks. So, having better understanding of this method is also very important. Coming to struct type, basically that is used to define the structure of a particular record in the data frame. Coming to struct field, this is used to define the structure of a particular field. What is the name of that field? What is the data type? It can accept null value or not. Those things can be defined using struct field. So the collection of struct field forms struct type. That is entire structure of a particular data set, one record. And also in my previous video, I uh, mentioned a struct type is not used only for defining the data structure. Even it is used to define the nested columns, which means let's say we are having a field name. It can be internally divided into multiple different subfields, nested fields like a first name, middle name, last name. It can be uh, defined using struct type. So basically struct type is used to define the entire structure of a particular record and also the nested uh, column uh, structure in a particular field. In today's uh, topic, I'm going to talk more about struct type and map type. So in this uh, struct type, I'm going to focus more on the nested column, not uh, the entire uh, data structure. I'm going to talk about only the nested fields. So as I explained in my previous video, let us assume we are having a data frame, which is having ID, name and department. The name that is internally divided into nested columns like na first name, middle name and last name. So basically these are nothing but key value pairs. The internal columns, the nested columns are divided in the form of key value pairs. Here the keys are like first name, middle name and the last name. So when we define the nested fields using struct type, upfront we have to mention you know, what are the internal columns we are going to use. In this example, this name, this uh, should contain the three internal fields like first name, middle name, last name. And when we define using struct type, we should tell the number of keys and it cannot be changed. Uh, what I mean is here I am going to define this particular uh, name field can contain first name, middle name and last name. The value of this particular column must have three fields. Now we cannot give only first name and last name or we cannot add any extra column on top of this. It must accept three key value pairs that is first name, middle name, last name. That is the structure of this uh, particular field that we are defining using struct type. So whenever we are checking the schema of this particular column, it will tell name that is a root column name. Within that it is divided into three parts that is first name, middle name, last name. So name that is a struct type because that is defining the entire structure of this particular column and uh, first name, middle name, last name, they are uh, part of uh, string data type. I hope you understood. So when we are using struct type, we must include all the possible keys and when we are creating new record, we have to give value for all the possible columns. In case I, I am defining uh, three key value pairs, that is you know, first name, middle name, last name and while creating the data, I am going to give only two values, first name and last name then it is going to throw error or if I am going to add extra one more key value pair then it is going to uh, throw error. So in the struct type basically we have to tell the number of key value pairs and for each record it must contain the value. Even though we are not having any value we have to populate with null value. This is how uh, struct type works but in real time project that is not going to be the case all the time. For example one record might contain a first uh, name, middle name and last name for another record probably we are missing with uh, middle name. So it's a fine, um, it should be fine to have only first name and last name. But whenever we are defining the structure using struct type, that is not possible. Then how we can do? For that requirement, we can go with map type. Let's say we are having a data frame utility. Within that I'm having uh, data for employees. Let's say one employee, Mike, you know, what are the different utilities he's uh, owning? So refriger refrigerator and what is the brand of that? That is uh, Samsung. Air conditioner, what is the brand of that? Voltas. Uh, television, what is the brand of that? That is LG. Oven, what is the brand of that? That is uh, Philips. So here, 
one particular employee you know we are having different utilities and coming to the other employee you know he might want different utilities so uh, basically no need to keep all the same utilities same like other employees so here if you come to the next employee david we are having only two key value pairs ac samsung another one is washing machine that is uh, lg so basically you know the number of uh, uh, key value pairs are different and also in the first num uh, key value pair we could not see washing machine but in the second one it has added so in this uh, map type basically it is very flexible you know we can add any number of key value pairs it is unbounded and also we can uh, uh, we, we can add some extra column or we can uh, remove some you know extra key value pair those things we can do so this is how uh, we can use map type and when we are checking the scheme of the utility uh, it's a utility that is a root column it is map data type and internally it is having key value pair it is not going to list down refrigerator or air conditioner television it is not going to list down in that way so we can keep any number of uh, key value pairs so simply it will mention key value so that is the main difference between struct type and map type uh, struct type whenever we know the uh, structure uh, clearly then we can go with a struct type and all the records should follow that particular structure if there is a mismatch then it will throw error coming to map type you know simply we are telling it's a key value pair any number of key value pairs we can add we can remove so there is no standard uh, number of keys uh, between the records so this is the major difference between um, struct type and map type hope you understood let's get started with the demo i have logged into my databricks environment and my cluster is also up and running and in the first step i am going to create data so in the data this is uh, defining one particular record this is having name field then after that uh, employee id then the department so the name field that is again divided into three internal columns that is james that is the first name and will that is the second uh, middle name and smith that is the last name so this is uh, forming one particular record we have to define this entire record using struct type and also within this particular record we are having uh, nested column that should also be defined using struct type i hope you understood so in order to define the uh, schema for this particular data i have to start with the struct type this is part of uh, pyspark sql types so i am uh, importing all the required libraries and while defining the schema i am starting with the struct type so basically i am defining the entire structure of that one but uh, the first column again this is internal struct type so at root field uh, name is a uh, name and internally it is divided into three parts first name middle name last name and uh, the other columns employee id and uh, employee department that they are regular fields so i am defining using struct field so this is how we have to define uh, the uh, schema for these kind of data so let me execute this step uh, i have created the data and the next step i am defining the uh, schema using struct type it's done now i am going to create the data frame and it will be displayed at the end the execution is completed and here we can see the name that is a root fold it is a struct type internally it is divided into three fields first name middle name last name so this is the output we can see and let us assume i am going to change you know one of the record okay let's say you know for the second record i am not going to give second value it's having only the first name and last name so now let me try to create data frame out of this so uh, i am defining the schema then the same code i am executing to check if it is creating the data frame here we can see it is uh, throwing error because the uh, field name length of object 2 does not match with the length of uh, fields so I expected the number of fields should be 3 uh, but we are having only 2 for the second record so that's the meaning of this so using struct type we must specify values you know whatever we are defining here we are defining three fields so we have to give three values even though we don't have any proper value we have to populate that with null value that can be defined using none so let me execute this uh, step using none now it will work now we can see the output for uh, michael middle name is null so uh, when we are using struct type it should follow the standard uh, key value pairs we should not miss anything we cannot add anything extra and even though we are not having proper value we have to fill that with null value 
I hope you understood. Now moving to the next example. I'm having a map type like here I'm having employee ID, then employee name, then utilities. Here, you know, for each key value pair, I have to mention key and also value. In the previous example of struct type, while defining the data, I'm not mentioning first name, middle name, last name. That I'm not defining in each of the column. Simply I can give because uh, the Spark engine will understand because this particular field that is uh, defined based on these three columns. But coming to uh, map type, you know, there is no standard uh, number of key value pairs. That's the reason. You now for each value, we have to mention the key also television that is LG. Uh, refrigerator that is Samsung, oven that is Philips. So basically in the map type, we have to mention the key value and also uh, key and also value along with the data. So here I'm defining four records, four number of records. Clearly you can see, you know, the first record that is having one, two, three, four. There are four key value pairs. Coming to the second one, it is having only three key value pairs two key value pair and coming to the third one it is having only one key value pair and the fourth one even I don't have any key value pair at all. So this is um, absolutely acceptable by map type because map type it's uh, you know it can it, there is a flexibility it can accept any number of key value pairs and it can be completely different from one record to another record that is also fine. So this is uh, the place you know where we have to go with map type because a struct type will throw error it will not accept it will not handle these kind of scenarios. So this is the data I have defined and uh, in order to define map type, uh, the first field that is a, a struct field ID and name that also I have defined coming to the map type. Here I have to put simply map type within the map type. We are having key and also value. What is the data type of that map type inside this is the data type of the key that is television and this is the data type of value that is LG. This is how we can uh, define the uh, schema using map type. Let me define the data and schema. It's done. Now let me execute the data so that it will create uh, the data frame and it will uh, display for our reference. Execution is completed. Now here we can see the column utilities. It's a map data type. It is having key and value. Both are of uh, string data type and uh, this is uh, you know it can be displayed in this way. This is the difference between a struct type and map type. You know, uh, even though both look uh, uh, both look same. Uh, let's uh, look at the output. You now this is utility. You know, here we can see key value pairs, refrigerator, Samsung, and uh, the same way, even a struct type will be displayed. Here we can see first name and uh, James, middle name, Will. Now even uh, in the output, we can see it looks the same, a struct type and map type, but uh, the internal working mechanism is uh, different for both and uh, both are used for different use cases. I hope you understood the difference between these two. I hope you liked and enjoyed this video. If you like the video, please uh, like and comment in the channel. Please uh, subscribe and also don't forget to click on the bell button. Thank you.